I got a lot of questions on my lasagna cooking video. Please check the description box. A lot of the questions that you guys ask, the answers in the description box. If I make any changes to my recipes or if there's something that I omit, I usually put a reason in the description box. So make sure you check that out. I also got a lot of questions on my cookware. That information is in the description box as well. All right, I am making chicken pot pie. Let's get into it. What? Two recipes in one week? Who am I? It's amazing how much work I can get done when I sit still long enough. Comment below. I want to know, do you make homemade chicken pot pie? If so, what ingredients do you add to yours that I didn't add to mine? This is the simplest way to make chicken pot pie. Once you try it, you'll never buy frozen pot pie again. Here's what I'm adding to mine. Chicken breasts, peas, carrots, chopped onions, minced garlic, cream of chicken, and milk. Ditch the flour because you won't need it. I'm showing you the most simplest way to make chicken pot pie. It's savory and delicious. If you have a rotisserie chicken, you can shred that and use it for your recipe. I seasoned the chicken with seasoned salt, onion powder, parsley, and black pepper. I added a teaspoon of vegetable oil to the skillet before tossing in the chicken. When I used to buy frozen chicken pot pies, I remember the meat was diced. I don't know if it was a chicken breast or if it was chicken at all. I know what's going in this recipe. Cook the chicken for about 10 minutes. I don't want to overcook it because it'll cook further when I bake it. Not overcooking the chicken will give you a juicy chicken pot pie. Now it's time to saute the onions, garlic, and carrots for about five minutes until the carrots are tender. Like the chicken, you don't want to overcook them. They'll continue to cook in the pot. If you have corn, add it to your recipe. Unfortunately, I was out. Add in the cream of chicken, milk, a pinch of salt, and a pinch of black pepper, and stir. Taste, stir again. I like to wait until after I add the chicken before adding more salt if needed. The chicken has lots of flavor, so additional salt may not be required. Before I add the filling to the pie, I'm letting it cool down for about 15 minutes so it doesn't melt my dough since it's smoking hot. I can eat the filling by itself, it's so delicious, but it tastes much better covered in a buttery flaky crust.
I'm using Pillsbury pie crust. In the box, it has two rolls of dough. It's perfect for making one nine inch chicken pot pie if you have a family to feed or two small four and a half inch pies. I use this dough for all of my pies. It's like homemade without the hassle. If you follow my channel long enough, you know I don't have the best of luck with flour. I always waste it. Spilled flour is just as bad as sand in the van. It gets into every little crevice and it's almost impossible to get out. So using Pillsbury pie crust works best for me. When baking sugary desserts, I do use a small amount of flour. I'll talk about that in my next cooking video. After I roll the dough out, I flip my bowl upside down to cut the top for the pie. Press the remainder of the dough firmly against the sides and bottom of your pan before adding the filling. At the top, press the edges together to seal. Repeat the process around the pie. Cut four to five slits into the top crust, brush with butter, and bake in an air fryer for about 25 minutes. If you're wondering why I use cream of chicken instead of making the gravy out of flour, it tastes so much better. Flour is tasteless, so you have to flavor it up. I used flour back in the day and decided to try cream of chicken one day and was hooked. The cream of chicken is bursting with flavor. Using it adds so much flavor to your pie and saves you time in the kitchen. I hope you give my recipe a try. It's the simplest way to make chicken pot pie. The Pillsbury crust is so easy to work with. Once it's cooked, it tastes like a homemade flaky crust. You can't tell the difference. I hope my simple recipe has impressed you and you give it a try. For the complete recipe, Check the description box below.
great. Oh my god. You have to give this recipe a try. You guys would never eat store bought chicken pot pie again. The crust is on point. <laughs> Delicious. Bon appetit. Here's a closer look of the inside. Oh my god. Cooked to perfection.